Kelly Mailer from Healthcare IT News. We're here today with Tom Giannoli, CMIO of Hippocrates. Thanks for being with us today, Tom. Thank you. Really pleasure to be here. So can you tell us about any new features or improvements with the Hippocrates EHR? Sure. Uh, today we're announcing that we've actually uh, gone to beta with our iPad EHR application, and it's a native application uh, designed to allow the physician to interact with all information in our EHR, add information, view information, uh, using the iPad uh, Touch iOS uh, system for uh, quick data entry and um, uh, fast uh, input of the clinical information. Great. How does a physician know when he is ready to transition to Hippocrates EHR? Well, there's a lot of ways you can prepare for an EHR in general. Typically, it's, um, it's fairly straightforward. With our system, it runs in the cloud, so all you need to do is invest in a computer that has a web browser. You don't need a lot of hardware or infrastructure. Uh, once you do that, you sign up for application, log into the app, configure it. Uh, you can do that really within a couple minutes and start using the product. You can also have some of our uh, advanced training people call you and walk you through the process, uh, configure the system over a period of days or weeks. And if you'd like to have further support, we can offer you a VAR network where they come into your office and actually set up and configure the system. So we can offer all three uh, approaches. How important is mobile app security? How does Hippocrates help with this? It's very important, obviously. Um, one of the ways you get high performance with our particular application is we take some of the information about a patient, put it on the device, encrypt it on the device locally. And it's only on the device for a short period of time, only as long as it's needed, and then it gets extinguished. So that helps secure the information. Even if someone did take the device or steal it, the data is still encrypted. But we make all the safeguards uh, you know, programmed in the product so that in any situation, the data is pretty much safeguarded. But it's, it's an important issue, and when you develop mobile apps, you have to look at that carefully. So Tom, how does Hippocrates EHR help physicians meet meaningful use requirements? Well, clearly we're a meaningful use uh, certified product, so we have the capability to do that. Um, it's A lot of products have that certification, not all products integrate those steps or tasks kind of smoothly into the process of seeing a patient and documenting their encounter. We spend a lot of time figuring out how we can go through an encounter quickly and as a byproduct, um, satisfy meaningful use via data collection and reminders. So we actually allow you to do that in a way that you really don't even know you're doing it. Right. You just enter data in and it'll, it'll score it for you automatically, remind you of things it needs to in order to score highly or collect the right information and just go about your business of seeing the patient. Great. Well, I think we're going to do a little demonstration now. So if you'd like to go on your little iPad. Sure. So as we show you here, this is the face sheet once you log in and select the patient. You have a view of all the different uh, pertinent points on the patient. You can point and click and drag around to customize the look of that face sheet. You can select items by simply tapping or selecting here. So if you want to drill into problems, you tap there. You tap again to get more detailed information on a problem. Same with medications. You get a medication list that shows up. And if I want to add a new medication, I simply check, check on the uh, plus button. Our network's a little slow today, so it takes a while to respond. Okay, here we go. And I can use the award-winning Hippocrates database to actually look up the drug. So let's type in Xanax. It'll then give me any warnings on drug interaction, drug allergy checks. And give me the information here on the monograph right beside the prescription pad. So I can fill that in with all that information exposed. The same is true when I enter notes. I have the ability to reference checklists that Hippocrates creates on the top 100 diagnosis in primary care. And those show up as essentially checklists on my iPad. So if I click on, say, subjective, I click a particular problem, say cough. They give me all the typical questions and responses that a patient might have on a checklist. And as I, as I create those selections, it writes the narrative for me up top. And I can edit that with keyboard or voice. So you can actually use the system point and click in front of the patient without having to worry about using keyboard for data entry. Very great. Well, thank you for being with us today, Tom. Sure, thank you very much. This is Kelly Mailer for Healthcare IT News with Tom Giannoli, CMIO of Hippocrates.